Tommy, two wins at the UBB Stadium in just four days. That must be a really good feeling. Yeah, we're delighted. We're delighted with the result. We're delighted with the manner of the performance as we grew into the game. I thought Ebsley come out the traps really well. The team in really good form. Danny and Anwar have done a really good job since arriving there. But um, we made a habit of breaking people's runs this season. And we didn't mention it really before the game. But it was something that once they got their tails in, or their noses in front, sorry, and their tails up, we, we, it could have become a very, mm. very difficult game. But I thought the lads, you know, worked their way into the game. Um, and everybody to the again the whole the bench the ones who didn't come on the ones who did have played a huge contribution and it's great to be up there and the lads who aren't involved the lads who are injured the Christians the AJs them lads uh, Dejans they're as delighted as the lads who've played in there that's that's what pleases me most well let's talk about the goals two from short corners there I'm sure you'll be <laughs> delighted with that so were they straight off the training ground yeah they were absolutely and um, you know I've said this. We understand that the, the East Bank want the ball in the box of corners, <laughs> but how many times have we scored with a one-touch header from a corner this season? So I'm not going to say much more than that. Other than that. I did, I did react because I could hear them booing as the ball was kicked off the uh, the quadrant uh, for the first goal, and then we scored. So I was delighted. I was listen. Lauren needed that because he's been full of confidence all season. But even his confidence could have been, you know, okay. hindered by what happened with him on Saturday. And he, he beats himself up if he doesn't score a goal. But um, us, all of us absolute have faith in him and he's, he puts himself in the right positions as does James so listen I, I'm really really pleased as you said six points in four days if he'd offered me four on Saturday I would have, I would have taken him you know two points every sorry four points every two games is a really good return but we're in a, we're in a really good r rhythm at the minute um, the boys are, are flying with in their own mental states physical fitness um, but it's a, it's a turnaround with a long journey on Saturday so mm -hmm. It's gone, and the next one is York, and we'll be looking. You know, they got they got to come into our crosshairs very, very quickly. Well, those two goals were from set pieces, but then you had the other one, some brilliant unselfishness from Frosty yeah. to square it to James Daly, which I'm sure you would have loved. And then also yeah. a brilliant effort from Ryan Glover as well. I don't think many keepers would have saved that, would they? Yeah, no. I mean, he's done that plenty of times this season and not at the target, Ryan. And we and we tell him about that. <laughs> so you know, it's it's an advantage of him being on that side of the pitch, and he's took it really well. To be fair, that goal. But the other goal is if I wanted, if there's a legacy to be left when I've gone, whenever that is. That's the goal because we pride ourselves on understanding that if someone's in a better position, you to definitely score, you give them the ball. And it's not very often that I can honestly say I jump off my bench and, and, and scream at somebody for not doing what Tyler did. At the beginning of the season, it was something we had to teach the players because we understand the collective intention of everybody up there is to win the game. And Tyler Frost shown the other day it was the right decision to shoot from where he was. Today, he's shown massive maturity to understand he, he could probably have scored, but he, he made sure he scored by leaning on a plate for Jim. So absolutely thrilled. Um, but we move on. Three points banked. Let's look to the next one. Obviously, great spirit as well from the lads. Uh, going down to 10 men is not ideal, yeah. but they, they dug in, didn't they? We obviously scored after going down to 10 men and held on fantastically. Yeah, and I mean, I think we created a couple of other chances to score yeah. again. So, look, I, 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 we prayed ourselves in, a, in the condition of the lads. And obviously, you're going to be under more pressure with 10 men in your team as, against, you know, as opposed to 11. But again, the substitutions were crucial. I had a plan, had, had you not been uh, dismissed, but that went out the window and, and we had to do something slightly different. So again, players had to be switched around, moved around. We got Josh moving back a yard from the 10 position into midfield. We got young Dylan going and playing in the back line. So, you know, listen, I've got to, I've got to tip my hat to the, to the group. I think they're... They're giving me everything they've got. Sometimes we come up a little short, but nine times out of ten so far, up until now, um, I've been really pleased with the way we've done.